guys, today I'll be showing you how to do the maintenance on a HJD DTF printer. The first thing I want to do after a long day of printing is to clean the interior side of the machine. So you'll have a lot of powder residue here. So what I like to do, since I have all the silica, silica powder packs on the bottom here, um, I like to move all the powder to keep the humidity controlled. Okay, now that all that powder is gone from here, I also like to dust the control area to make sure that you don't have any residue here. Now we go on to the machines to maintenance the print heads. So after a long day of printing, I want to go ahead and clean out all the leftover inks, uh, pretty much maintain the, the, the ink carriage. So I like to just use regular cloth. We, we cut t-shirts up and I'm just pretty much wiping all the excess inks off first. Okay, now that the base is a little bit cleaner, I'll grab a cleaner cloth and I'm gonna go ahead and go through the, the side rubber pieces of the ink carriage. So it's important to not only clean the inside, the outside of the rim, but also the inside. This is where the print head sits. Now I also use a little bit of some cleaning solution. I get this from DTG Pro and I have a really light mix here. I, I, I dilute it with a lot of uh, distilled water and I also use this for wet capping. And I never, I never use the same cloth on the white and the colors. So 
So these are lint-free cloth. And what I like to do is get underneath the print head. You want to wipe around the edges. So this is a, a 4720 print head that we use here. Some of the buildup happens on the sides of the print head and also between the channels. So I like to use the lint-free cloth, slightly get under there and just gently rub. And I use, again, I use uh, some cleaning solution from DTG Pro, diluted. And I just use that to, to clean underneath. So what you want to do on this machine is to go ahead and change it, shift it to the point where you're able to access the underneath area. And then you want to double check. And I like to put some solution underneath. And again, I'm going to be wiping underneath. So again, right at the print head, you're gonna be going gently. And then around the corners, you can, you can, you can scratch a bit more because that's usually where the buildup happens. And once all four corners are wiped down, you can move on to the next print head. So that's, that's the white channel. Usually on the other CMYK colors and fluorescent colors, there's not as much buildup. Okay. And then you want to shift it over again to the right and access the back heads. So a bit of preview of how it looks underneath. So those are the nozzles right in the middle and you see the build up on the sides. You wanna make sure that those are clean. So this is a before with all the gunk on the side. So this is how it's supposed to look after it's clean. Now that I've cleaned the last head, underneath should be fairly clean. All right, now that, now that all the print heads are clean, what we do is wet cap. Now there are different methods of of cleaning your stations. It's, it's more important to do your maintenance than to repair your machine. So again, spend your, spend your time 20, 30 minutes to do all your maintenance and you will reduce your problems of uh, your print heads. Uh, what we do is again, we use uh, a wet cap solution that we dilute with distilled water and some DTG Pro solution. I don't fill it up all the way. I just kind of put about 40, 50%, just so that the head sits right on top of it. I would say that's an adequate amount of solution. And then I'll, I'll have the heads return back home and let it sit. And that's how you do your maintenance.